Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Trades video and I'll talk about how to use Chromebook offline. So if you have a Chromebook and if you haven't used Chrome, uh, your Chromebook offline yet, uh, there's a way you can uh, use your Chromebook offline and you have to just go through a few simple uh, settings change which I'll show you today. You'll be able to use most of the important uh, applications offline uh, for example your gmail uh, you can browse web or read uh, websites and you can use some apps and you can use uh, google drive uh, under which you will be able to use uh, google docs uh, google spreadsheet and google slides so i'm going to start with uh, gmail first and then we'll move over to the other uh, applications one by one so the first thing you need to do uh, you're going to have to uh, open your gmail uh, which you can open on your gmail app so if you click on it so once you have your gmail up then what you need to do uh, for the first time that you're going to click on uh, the wheel button which is right here so if you click on it and then it's going to give you the quick setting and then under quick settings you're going to click on see all settings and then once you have that then you're going to see a page with lots of options so if you look very carefully you're going to see right here is that offline tab and if you just click on it then you can see that there's an option to enable offline mail uh, you are seeing it checked right now because I checked it but uh, you know if this is your first time this is going to be unchecked and then you're going to have to just you know check it and then you might see a few other options that you know for how many days you need to uh, keep the email so I chose uh, seven but there's other option for example like 3 30 or 90 uh, and then you're gonna have to just you know uh, select whether keep offline data on my computer or remove offline data from my computer so if you just read this carefully and choose that and then you're gonna have to you know save changes and once you do that then you can use uh, gmail offline for example right now i'm going to just uh, close it just one important note that uh, whenever you'd like to use something offline you have to create a shortcut or uh, you have to create a, a bookmark for it so for example uh, for email i put it on the email shelf uh, and you can just uh, do it easily by going to email and then our gmail and then when you you know press on it you can see that you know here you can see that it's mentioning on pin from shelf but uh, if you didn't put it on shelf then you can just you'll see here pin to shelf so you have to just choose that option and then this is going to be available uh, later on when you're not connected to uh, internet or the other option also create a bookmark just by pressing ctrl and d and then you know it's going to put a bookmark on your bookmark uh, bar so that way you'll have uh, you know access to it later on so right now i'll just you know uh log off the internet and you can see that if i let me just close this one first and you will see that uh, right here so you can see that i'm connected to internet but let me just you know disconnect so you're seeing that message here that not connected and i'm going to just you know uh, click on gmail on the shelf And you can see that you know this is loading so this is my gmail i'm not showing the inbox due to privacy reasons but you know the email is working and you can see that you know the offline sign is on so that means you know i'm not offline right now and let's say if i want to compose an email so just hit on compose and you can see that you know it's giving me the new message so what happens if you write a message and if you go through all the process so and you send the message it's just going to save on the computer and then once it's connected to uh, online then it will save it so that's how it works here are the instructions again you have to open gmail on chrome 
and then you have to go through the gear settings all settings and then you have to check the box offline and you know once you do that you'll see some few other options which you know just go through very carefully and choose which one you like and then you'll be able to use gmail offline the next one i'll talk about is the google docs sheets and slides offline and how to do that so in order to, in order to do that the first thing you're going to be doing is that you have to install google docs offline extension and then you're going to go to google drive settings and from there you have to turn on the offline option and it would show only recent files but you know you can actually look at any files or anything uh, by going to each file individually or and make them available uh, to use for offline or to use for online use just another note here same like google uh, gmail that you know you have to bookmark or create a shortcut for google drive otherwise once you go offline you're not going to be able to use that so the first thing you're going to be doing is uh, go to google web store and then search for google docs offline and then install but if you're seeing this message that remove from chrome that means that you already have installed this and then you know that means you don't need to install but if you see here uh, add to chrome message that means that you know you have to install from here so once you install that then what you're going to be doing is that you have to open uh, google drive and then once you have google drive you can go to the gear icon right here and then if you click on it then you're going to go to settings and then from here you can see that the offline option is checked which is right here and you might get some other messages here so you have to just you know uh, check those uh, i cannot see that anymore because i checked it a long time before but this part where it says offline this is where you're going to be you know uh, checking to make it offline and then once done you can hit done and you can save google drive by creating a shortcut you can do it by hitting ctrl d or you can just you know uh, go to here just like we did before and then if you just you know add it to your shelf you can do that as well so once you do that so what i'm going to do right now uh, i'm going to just you know go offline again and we'll try to open google drive and see if it works okay so you can see that you know i'm offline so let's go back to google drive And you can see that you know it's opening a google drive although i'm offline which is right here so it's just taking a few seconds and then here you can see that you know some of the articles which are highlighted so these articles actually or these uh, you know items are available uh, for you to access uh, offline for example let me just take a look at here I'm going to click on this and you can see that you know I, I can view my uh, Google Doc item offline and although I'm off you know not connected to internet which you can see right now so I'll just close this one and then let's say if you'd like to see anything else or more items for offline view if I long press here you can see that you know this is not available offline so in order to make it available offline you have to just check that button or slide that button and then you'll be able to access that offline what I just mentioned you to access Google Drive offline it only works for google documents for example google docs google spreadsheets or google slides 
but if you have a files which are not uh, one of those three then for example uh, PDF or uh, zip files or mp3 then uh, you'll not be able to uh, see them online uh, by uh, you know going to Google Drive uh, so you have to follow a different uh, step for those so what do you have to do uh, on your Chromebook app go to files app which is right here so if I click on it and open it and then click on Google Drive which is going to be on the lower left and here you're going to see all your files and everything and let's say you're looking to view a PDF file offline so we're going to choose this PDF file and then if you right click on it so here you're seeing that option that available offline and you have to check that option so if you do that uh, then let's right click again and you can see that the available offline option is checked and now you can view this file by going to after that you can view this file when you go to files and just you know get to the file and click on it so that's how you can view other files which are not specific like uh, google docs spreadsheets or slides our next item is how to save or how to view web pages for offline users so this is very simple you have to save web pages uh, and uh, then you know once you do that i'll show you how to do it and i'll show you how you can access them uh, offline so let's say you have a website or web page and you'd like to view you off, uh, offline so what you need to do you need to right click on the website and then see the option save as so if you click on it so now here is giving you the option to save this page as web, uh, web page single file and under this extension mhtml so you're going to just keep everything as is and here just to you know uh, for easy access later on you can actually create a new folder uh, and then you can just name that folder as a uh, you know offline websites so for example if I just put off line sites and then you can see that you know what I'll do I'll just you know now uh, save okay so now you can see that you know the page uh, has been saved and what I'll do I'll just you know go offline now and you can see that you know I'm offline and now we have to just you know find what you saved so you can easily find that by going to your uh, files and so if I go there uh, so let's just you know check get rid of this first and if I go to the application files And if I go to downloads and then if I go to new folder and then offline sites and then if I go to here then here is the file I saved now if I click here then it should bring up the website uh, offline and you can see that I'm offline right now so just let click on here so now you can see that you know I have that website although I'm offline but you know it is working so you can just save any website this way and you can access them later on just uh, a note that uh, the application pocket or this is an app uh, you can you know save anything in the pocket and it's much easier to view offline if you're just like you know going to that article or site from the pocket application so that's another way of doing it now let's move on to the next topic so the next we'll talk about how to use offline apps so before uh, you do that uh, what you need to do you have to go to chromebook uh, chrome uh, web store okay so once you go to chrome web store then you're going to look for apps which is right here and then you're going to uh, look for offline apps by checking the box and then you can you know uh, see all the apps which will work offline so right now you're looking at chrome web store which you have it right here 
so if you see here here are like an options uh, extension teams apps so if you click on apps and then if you scroll up a little bit then you're gonna see the box runs offline so if you click on this feature then now you can see that you know it's giving you all the apps which works offline so if you install any of these apps then you know they work offline you don't have to worry about anything so there are so many apps offline but you know uh, some app i like most for example pocket which i mentioned before this lets you like you know view any web pages or website you save inside pocket and uh, this is free and then you can have netflix spotify prime video so if you have prime video you can just you know download uh, movies or tv series and you can just you know add them later offline but you know these are not limited to only these four there are so many uh, apps that work offline and you can see that it's kind of like an endless and then you can even have uh, google uh, keeps or other applications to use offline the offline feature gives you endless possibilities to use your chromebook when you are on the road or you're traveling or even like you know you are at home and you don't have internet access or you uh, somehow you lost connection and by using you know these uh, settings and techniques you can work offline and uh, you can be more productive and get more out of your chromebook this way thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing to this channel forget about liking this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you